G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and welcome back to another How To Basic Beginners Gardening Tips video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button now. And also, consider supporting me on Patreon, that'd be great. In this video, I'm gonna show you a dead set easy way to unclog your hand sprayer or garden wand so that it works properly again. If you have ever depended on one of these tools to water your garden for any length of time, you'd know how frustrating it can be when the thing clogs up or doesn't spray evenly like it did when it was new. Well, here's how to solve the problem. Often the main reason one of these fellas clogs up is due to a calcium or mineral buildup that slowly over time grows on or in the head, restricting or sometimes even stopping water from coming out. Some water supplies have a higher concentrate of minerals in it than others. For example, our bore water, which is in that tank behind us, and it's supplied by a bore pump that's the other side of you, that is naturally higher in calcium than our town water or rain water. So nozzles used with our bore water tend to clog up more than other water supplies. So instead of unscrewing the head of the sprayer and then trying to manually scrub it and poke it through with a thin piece of wire to open up those fine holes, let's face it, they never go back together correctly again. All you do is end up damaging the unit and it starts to leak. So instead of doing that, do this first. Remove the sprayer from the hose and submerge the head in a container with CLR cleaner, calcium lime rust cleaner. This stuff is really effective at dissolving calcium and it's pretty safe to use around the home. You might want to pour a little down the back also to ensure it gets inside. Leave it stand overnight and then the next day connect it back to your hose and you should find the sprayer will operate much much better than before. To prove how well this worked, I conducted a very scientific experiment called, well I called it, the oregano test. Watch now as I show you the before spray ahead operation that was starting to drive me nuts over several weeks and now the after sprayer operation when I finally got around to soaking the sprayer in CLR, thus improving the water flow overall. Pretty cool, hey? I know it's really basic, but it does work and it could just save you from having to pull the thing completely apart. Now, before you go, I've got a couple of important things to also mention about watering. Don't buy a cheap sprayer because not only will it clog up, but they also rust out easily and are prone to leaks. I've had this hose link sprayer for several years now and it's great. Before that, I was going through about two cheap sprayers a year and wasting money. I've also purchased a retractable hose reel, you know those hoses that you can pull out from the wall and then water and then it sucks back in. Well, I've had a few in the past and they were pretty bad and they didn't last very long. So I got one from Hoselink because I was so impressed with this. And then Hoselink contacted me and said that they'd send me out another one if I would do a personal evaluation and review on it. So they must be pretty confident that I'm gonna like it. I haven't put them together yet, but when I do and when I have time to evaluate them, I'll do a proper review video on Hoselink and let you guys know about it. Another quick tip is always place your sprayer up and away when you're finished with it. Never leave it on the ground or near where ants frequent, especially if you're not watering regularly because ants love making their nests inside these heads. And then when you go to water, the ants will be forced out of the tiny sprayer holes, clogging it up, and that usually requires the head to be taken apart to fix. And there you have it, another basic gardening tips for beginners done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and share it around. Like I said at the start, if you haven't subscribed, well, smash that subscribe button and also consider supporting me on Patreon. That would help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now. Ah.
bliss for a gardener. <laughs> okay, turn off now. Okay, pump, you can stop. I can't hear myself think. <laughs>